Hello there, and welcome to this course on the essentials of CorelDRAW 2018. Hi, my name is Roger Wombold. I'm Senior Product Trainer with Corel and author of Bring It Home with CorelDRAW, a guide to in-house graphic design, and the essentials of CorelDRAW X8. I'll be your instructor for this series. Since I originally recorded this course, we are now at CorelDRAW 2018. Throughout this course, I've made updates to reflect new or changed features. As a result, you will notice that the title bar at the top of the screen in some videos will show CorelDRAW X8, and in other videos, you'll see CorelDRAW 2018. You'll also notice additional tabs along the bottom of the screen where I have added pages to the exercise files. Throughout this course, we'll cover the essential lessons that will take you through the application and on your way to becoming proficient with CorelDRAW. We'll start with the welcome screen where you will learn the various ways in which you can create a new or open an existing document and then cover off things such as working with the workspace and looking at various resources in CorelDRAW where you can find additional help. We'll progress through the course covering things such as an overview of the interface, setting up a new document, and examining the various tools within the toolbox. Now there are a number of different types of elements that we can work with in CorelDRAW, such as ellipses, rectangles and text, bitmaps, as well as other objects. Next, we'll take a look at some of the more powerful tools and features, such as power clips, find and replace, and working with scripts. Once we've taken a brief look at the color palettes, we'll be discussing printing. We'll also take a look at how to set up a print merge, as well as the imposition layout tool. We'll close out this course with customizing the interface to help you be more productive and more easily create the designs that you need in fewer steps. The lessons in this series have been designed to have you easily learn and understand the concepts. If you have access to the exercise files, feel free to use them, and well, if not, don't worry too much about that. You'll still be able to follow along. So with all of that being said, let's get started.